False teachers and other religions will say that we are not sinners and don't need a savior. Well, they got their own opinion. But the truth of the matter is, as I said earlier, that Romans 5 and 8 said that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. We need a savior. We thank God for the savior. And most of all, the savior will be with us today. And so my proposal to you, my brothers and sisters, is let us live for Christ. Be the light in this area. You know, I'm going to be honest to say, as a pastor, we do not like where we are because we have health conditions that we're concerned about. But not only that, we have also ministry that we must do. And if God, if we be faithful, I believe this, and I, and I, I ask the Lord to help us. If we ask God to heal us and help us to bear these conditions, I believe God will be able to help us to grow this church in spite of what it is. And we can be able to have a testimonial testimony that we grew a church in a hazardous health room, but God sustained us, secured us, helped us to breathe, helped us to live, and have our being in this place. But the good news about it is, the lesson objective tonight, and I want us to all to take heart, and I'm going to open the doors of the church in just a minute, is that when we live for Christ, be the light. Don't let people see the dark side of you. Be the light. If you want peace in your home, be the light. If you want stability on your job and just to feel good, be the light. No, we all got nine. I, I, I just love to use this line a lot. Y'all going we got nine and nine problems in our life, but having Jesus in our life and being the light of Jesus cannot be one. Cannot be one. And so my objective is I state, we are going to grow this church still collectively and individually. Be the light. If you did it, confess it, God will forgive it. That's the second objective. If it's a lot of people, I'm not speaking on y'all, but it's just people that are bitter, still feeling some type of way, 